just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the... Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who went for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners... Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. Time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor, but the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bad rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes, I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up! You see that wagon? Dear me, that don't look good. These damn flies! Come on, I swear mister. they got it in for me. You could try Keep watching your eyes once open. in a while. No, this must have happened. Wait. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie. What? got any identification okay we should get going I'll send someone over here later to clean this up <laughs> dangerous business the life of a lawman isn't it appears so I'm just glad we got Archibald here to show us the ropes. <laughs> mm, hey, more than that, Let's boy. Let's go. There's nothing more we can do here. Come on, we need to get back on the road. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lamont State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Go right at the crossroads. Yep, not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Bear right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. Is 
See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheat of them. A fine idea, us. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it. Deputy Wynn. Gimson. Bridge over there. this bastard up. I, I think there's another one by the still. Give me some room to work here. Just drop him with the other. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so, think you're real funny, don't you? tell me about the... <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Well, um... They were the finest family around.
your last. Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no-good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move We it. have a life move on it. a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we, are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill! Get this stuff out of here! Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? 
Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Whoa! If you say I'm old, prove it. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set. Go! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Quite so good at running away, Arthur. Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Karen lacks a man in uniform way I hear it. <laughs> Hi there, Javier. Hola. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... 
I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said... Hey, I'll do it, as long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way. Don't you smart, Alex? How you get wind of this, old man? We ain't gonna get there at this rate. Nice of you to join us. So, anyway, how you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. <laughs> wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Get home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the left. Fast run down in the road. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. Wind. Soon, Williamson. Christ sakes. I should be... ...do any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand. <laughs> Shit! Hey! Think I say something? Oh, uh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Stop! 
Sack. We'll stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Ugh. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I hate it. Now, let's just keep this calm. See what happens.
Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the... The bar. Uh, sir. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back.
a bit. Try to confuse them. Arthur, with me. Sounds like they got some trouble over there. We better go give them a hand. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. I had to leave it, Gwonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Gwonk. Run, quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Come on now, boy.
Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Hey there. Hello. Mister Cocksucker, just calm down. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's... 
Like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. So long, and good luck. Hey, boy. If you do me this kindness, sir, I shall not forget it.
There's a girl. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. Hmm. You got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Ah! <laughs> 
Hold up. Hey, friend. Fine morning, partner. I can't seem to catch a break today. Oh, it'll get better. Yeah, well, it can always be worse, huh? Bye. Great family business, coming through. You're good. Hey there, mister. Hey now, neighbor. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going.
up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There! There they are! Ladies. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch now, the now. water. Singing Take us down Main Street, right be. through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your me. name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. We sing for suffrage for women to be free. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Or maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Get down boys. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. equals. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh, yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Oh. 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 Oh.
of he hey. dependent on What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Well, you always was. Bo, why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. All of us. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before. Kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure? You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't, right? You know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Yep. name are you? Relax. Yeah. for you. Oh, easy. 
crazy. Whoa. <laughs> Miss Karen. Fine. How are you, Mr. Bill? Good. I heard you said something to Grimshaw about a fight. Yeah. <sighs> so what now, Dutch? Son, we're not home free, but you think they're off our back? For now, long enough for us to figure out what we're doing. They're gonna let a bunch of criminals go after what we've done. We are not criminals, we are outlaws. Is it different? Of course, there is a goddamn difference, and when you figure out what that is, you'll know what the hell we're doing. It feels like we're running, running, killing. And running some more. Listen, these are tough times, of course, but now, this is when we have to be our strongest. We're gonna make it strong or weak. Which is strong.
Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Yep. Hold on, I'll be right there. Yes, yes, hello. That's the man there. Rotten. That's all. All right, here.
help a fella out. Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some Hello. money. I fought in the war. war I fought for you. Come on. Give a fella a nickel. Give me a dime. Give me something. Hello, mister. Hey, buddy. Good to see you again, friend. I've only gone and forgotten your name. But worse than that, I've forgotten my own name, too. It happens to me. You ever forget your name, mister? Sure. See? We're made for each other. I mean, as friends. I knew it. There's a big crazy fella with a gun, and I'm a little crazy fella. Can't afford a gun no more. Stick with him, Jimmy, I said. And then I, I said, your name ain't Jimmy, it's Mickey. And then the fella I was talking to in my head, even he didn't want to talk to me no more. I'll see you around. I've gotten real confused. Okay, then. This way, boy. How's it going? Mister. Hey, mister. Can't be bothered. Hey, out of the way.
Okay, there. Time to go, boy.
There we go. Okay, it's all right. Whoa, whoa, wait. No, no, wait. No, no, stay here. Hey, wait, where are you going? Hey, stop. No, no, stay here. Oh, no, wait. and easy. It's okay. Whoa, whoa! Easy.
Hey, stop! Hey! Easy, easy. Yeah, let's try that again. Shh, easy now. Nice and easy. Stay calm. Doing good, girl.
Okay, fella.
Let's go, boy. this boy Let's see what we got. Whoa, way ahead of me. <laughs> Come on, pal. Okay then. Yeah. 
Easy. Whoa.
Yep. You okay, boy? Yeah. Easy, easy. Yeah. 
As long as it doesn't pick up, we're fine. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Ah, uh, Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my, my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, oh, I hope not. So what you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Now you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. If you manage to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. 
Me neither. I, shh, here's one. Looks like we got company. Can you keep your head down while I take the shot? Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back. Stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They'd think it's staged. It sort of is. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. Oh my. They don't seem to be fans of modern technology. Do something, Mr. Morgan. Help! I don't like wolves. Hey, is that all of them? We might have kept the wolves from the door. Oh, futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir.
go the other way. Easy there. In hell. Rot with the rest of them. Don't you manhandle me. Time to go, boy. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. Did I just do those things? It's a, 
It's a horrible blur. But I see blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a good girl. R really. I promise I am. You believe me, don't you? Don't you, Miss Pat? I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. A fever of the brain. I I I've done bad things, but... A jail... A jail ain't where I belong. A sanatorium, maybe. Get me help, mister. Please? Save me. Save me from the sheriff. And moreover, from myself. Such a strong man. So tough and burly. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. My men folk, they all been weak. That's what my problem's been. How I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big strong man like you, you'd set me straight. Wouldn't you, mister? Put me on the straight and narrow? I hate you, you sad sack of shit. I wish I'd cut your belly open and shown you your guts. Gutless bounty hunts nobody. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Ah! I wish you'd die. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. Pull What's your, your story, horse, huh? Friend. You can rest now, boy. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I, I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another fella out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Now that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. So it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just little old me. Let me out to exercise a little. I'm immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. It's so boring in here. Can we have some fun, Sheriff? Just the two of us. And to think you were sniffing around this office at one point. I'm lucky you was charmed by another. You see, Sheriff, 
I know your secrets. And I could spread them all over. Like Miss Moria? Don't you dare mention Moira again. Now hush. <laughs> oh. Show me some sympathy, Sheriff. I'm a widow. A poor little widow. You forget? They can say what they like about you, but at least you respect your break today. You've had more than your fair share of hardship. Yeah, well, it can always be worse, huh? So long. Probably heard everyone talking about the curse here. Maybe not. Folk reckon luck runs bad in this town, and the superstitious among them reckon that ain't no coincidence. Me, I reckon a man makes his own luck. There ain't no church nor curse gonna change it. But a real man what do you knows care how anyway, to hold his drink. <laughs> This will fix you up. All I want is one handsome man today. Tired. Boy, am I tired. She could skin a bear with her teeth, so help me God. Look at you. Y'all make a fella sick. Burn you, mama's boy. Did you stop suckling? 25? Oh, how I love this place. Gentlemen? Partner? Hello. What's wrong with you, fool? Well, look at y'all. Look at you. My time? And it was goddamn men. You ain't men, the whole lot of you, look at you. You ain't men. You ain't even women. You're... You're something. Just give me a drink, quick. Down the hatch. Revolted. I'm tempted to gouge my eyes out just for the fact that they saw you. I wouldn't do you the dignity of pissing on you. None of you! Oh, God, I can't believe what this dump is coming to. Sorry about him. Hard. Uh, you, mister, excuse me.
stop letting you watch through a window for free. It ain't fair. I'm getting used to seeing more bad than good. Find yourself, partner. Hey, guys ahead, friend. Mister.